Well, good morning. How's everybody doing today? Hope everybody's having a good day. I'm curious. I don't know how much it rained, but it started raining last night. Very light. We didn't have heavy rain. But I woke up this morning and we had water puddles. Not much, but there is one right there. You guys can see it. Let's just check our gauge. Because I haven't put it away yet. Oh, how about this? Almost two tenths, guys. See? Almost, almost five mil. How about that? Can you believe it? I kind of figured it was two tenths to have a little tiny water puddle. Just enough that uh, the one field that we were hauling straw bales out of yesterday, the farmer doesn't want us in that field tracking it up. How's that sound? So, and I don't know if you guys remember, this is going to be a little bit of an ongoing process for the next little while because I'll only have time to spend a couple hours in the shop doing this. But we have to build some customized horse penning, somewhat customized horse penning. Uh, if you guys remember back a while ago, we did a, uh, installed a, built and installed a new rolling door in a barn for some neighbors, new people, and they want some horse penning with rolling door, these are basically box stalls, rolling doors and so on and so forth. So that's what we're getting started on here. Um, all I've cut was the pieces for the one front, which is seven feet tall, 10 feet long, and yeah. So the box stalls are gonna be 10 by 12s. So they'll be 12 feet deep, 10 feet wide is the idea so we're gonna get started here just kind of tacking things together for the first one and then I can go through sit down and do all my measurements exactly what I need to make the other it's three box stalls so this way I'll have I'll know exactly what I need to make the other two I ha kinda sorta have it drawn out in my head a little bit on paper but if I build this one, then I can give them a more exact type uh, dollar figure, right? <laughs> so, so yeah, that's what we're going to attempt to do here now. Um, we're pushing the gun here on how much steel I have on hand to get this job done. I'm thinking I need like 20 lengths of steel for all the dividers and all of the st stall fronts. According to my rough calculations, and I've got 17, I might actually have to buy, go out to Alberta and get another lift to steel. But anyway, that's beside the point. Let's uh, get a little bit of this stuff tacked together and go from there. Talk to you guys in a bit. So this is stage one of horse panning. Talk to you. Alrighty guys, well, she's coming along. So, let me back you up a bit here. There we go, a little bigger picture. So this area right here, obviously that's how, up there, that's the top. So when you stand it up this way, okay. This area here, that'll be the doorway to go into the pen. Down here, gets three quarter inch or one inch plywood, which will be bolted into a flat bar that's welded in on the bottom, up the sides, all the way around and that gets bolted in uh, it's, a, it's set up for four feet and then three feet meshing from the top there to here is three feet so we'll put meshing on the top so the horse can look out they don't feel trapped and this little area right here is a two foot by three foot feeding door that'll swing open so now you get the gist of what it looks like, right? We'll just continue on playing here a little bit. So far, I've basically built this out of a whole bunch of scrap that was laying in the shop over here. 
And so we'll have to weld a couple pieces together right there and there uh, to make those ones work. But so far we're just using scrap up. Anyway, talk to you in a little bit. Do you want to turn down? No. Tricky scare. videoing my butt? No, I was videoing your great gobs of fire. Great balls of fire? Great balls of fire. <laughs> Woo! Great balls of fire! Okay, that's that part. Now we just gotta cut some flat bar and get it. Freaking holes drilled and blah blah blah. All the fun stuff. The long process. Mm -hmm. Talk to you guys later. Alrighty guys, I just brought you down to our barn. So basically, this is what, when it's all done and said, this right here is what it'll look like. Except for one small difference. The people we're building it for, the feed door right here. So that just opens up like that. See, on theirs, it's a foot lower. So she'll have a two foot gap from the bottom up and then her three foot door. And then at the top from that bar right there to the very top bar would be another two feet because it's seven foot panel, right? But basically this is uh, how it's gonna work for, for them, just like this. And then the door itself just rolls open like that so yeah la -dee da that's what we've got to build the other difference with the ones that I'm building for the neighbor up here I have an actual flat face roller bearings for our rollers and then on this one we have round barn door track and same as that one so, and they're getting the round barn door track on theirs. There you go. Now you got an idea of what it'll look like. Talk to you guys later. Well, how about this one, guys? Something you don't know about me. I don't mind actually cooking now and again. So in here, what we're doing is barbecue chicken. 
So this is a Acti Fry. It cooks on air. You don't put no oil or nothing in there. With a garlic Alfredo mushroom sauce on fettuccine. And then I might just steam up some uh, veggies. So with my garlic Alfredo, I have a garlic seasoning that we put in there. I'll buy one tin of garlic Alfredo, the actual Alfredo sauce. And then I'll throw a can of mushroom soup in it. And I put another can, small can, of pieces and stems mushrooms in there also. And you just stir that all up really nice and yummy just like that, guys. Nothing like... Mm -mm -mm. So... Classico Alfredo. Can of mushrooms. Tin of mushroom soup. And she's all good. Right? Uh, so, that stuff goes uh, in there. And I turned the wrong burner down. Dumbass. This is almost ready. Almost. Got to keep that low. And you got to stir that constantly. Otherwise it'll freaking spit and bubble and kick you in the face. And when that stuff hits you in the face, it freaking hurts. So, yeah. And I'm not sure where this is at quite yet. Let's check it. Mm, nope, I think it's going to need a little bit more time. Mm-hmm. Not quite soft enough yet. And so, and then, for a sauce on here, I'm not sure what we're going to do. I think we're going to do a teriyaki. A teriyaki type sauce, guys. That sound good? Hmm. I'll bring you back in a minute or two when I figure out what I'm going to use for a sauce on my chicken. Talk to you in a while. I'm hoping you guys got all of this. So we got our sauce here. Our fettuccine noodles are ready. Our fettuccine sauce is ready. The Alfredo garlic mushroom. Now we got to put our bacon maple honey on our chicken. And just pour it on there nice and thick. And just like that. Get all the good stuff in there. Close her up, turn her on, and we'll give her another five to ten minutes with the sauce in it. And then she's ready. And I got veggies in there, just frozen miscellaneous veggies in there, warming up. It's going to be good. <laughs> Talk to you guys in a bit. So, here you got her, guys. Fettuccine with... Uh, Garlic Alfredo Mixed veggies Mmm yummy yummy honey garlic chicken All done up served up nice and neat There we go There you go, babe. Thank you Say louder. Thank you. You're welcome. You know, I'm a deaf bastard, right? So there you go guys and got the damn dog in here. Anyways. Who's hungry? Come and get her. Give us the old thumbs up. We'll catch you guys tomorrow. Later.